Hello and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what would you like to discuss today? Well, I, I understand there's a new feature in Enterprise using departments and estimating. I thought maybe we could take a look at that. Oh, great idea. Uh, let me explain the feature a little bit. Mm -hmm. We had some people that had requested the ability to um, set up departments for uh, selecting cost centers and processes in an estimate in mm -hmm. place of the standard um, pre-press, press, uh, post-press, bindery, outside services that you see normally in um, the processes section of an estimate. Mm -hmm. um, that was always hard-coded and you couldn't change it. Well, sure. now we have a feature where you can create departments and basically customize that list. Okay. Uh, yep. Can we take a look at where we might set that up? Sure. Uh, we first have to set it up in system settings. There's mm -hmm. a setting to turn it on, so you can turn it on or off if you want it to work the way it used to. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So I'm going to go into File Maintenance. And I'm going to go up to File, System Settings. And you want to go under Estimating Order Entry and click on Options. And you'll see we have this new Use Departments in Estimating. When set to No, it's going to work like it always had. You're going to see pre-press, press, post-press, bindery, outside services. Mm -hmm. um, when, if you set it to yes here, that's when it will let you customize the options. Now, one thing you got to remember is you have to set up all those departments ahead of time before you turn the option on. Mm -hmm. Or if you turn the option on and nothing's set up, you'll see nothing that in that. Show. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Um, can we look at how it might look in estimating? Sure. Uh, so let me turn this on. And I'll save this. And let's go into estimating order entry. And I'll just click on add as a, I'm adding a new estimate. And I'll just go right down and add a component. And I'll go to sheet fed. And we'll go over to the processes tab. And you'll see here now this list of departments isn't the standard list you always see of pre-press, press, post-press, etc. Um, these are customized now to what I set up for departments um, in exactly the way, order I wanted to see them. And Mm -hmm. As you select each department here, you'll see that it's going to show the particular cost centers and the particular processes that I've assigned to that department. Okay, perfect. Okay. Looks great. Um, can we take a look at where you set that list up and how you map the cost centers sure. to that specific department? Um, you can actually do it in two places. Mm -hmm. You can do it typically where you do departments for data collections, and that's in job costing, so you could do it there. But not everybody owns job costing and still may want this feature. So mm -hmm. we've also added the ability to set up the departments in system settings. So let's take a look at, at it there. Okay. Okay. So I'll just cancel out of here and we'll go into system settings. Oh, excuse me, I mean standards. And we'll open up under cost centers, you'll see we have a new uh, option here for departments. And it brings you to your list of departments, kind of the same way, you'd, the same list that you'd see in job costing. Now, the way I've set this particular one up is the, um, I'm using different departments for data collections job costing than I'm using for estimating. Now, they can be the same if you want them to be. Mm -hmm. um, I chose to do one set for data collections and one set for estimating. Okay. So you'll see here, the, uh, my particular numbering system, I used the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 for data collections. Uh, for estimating purposes, I just added a single digit 1001 or 2001 or 3001 and okay. so on. Okay. So you will see both in the list and you'll see your job costing departments and your estimating departments. Yes, if you've done it this way where you've separated as two different yeah. ones, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go into one of the ones I set up for estimating. I'm going to highlight my prepress and hit edit. And you set it up the same way as any other um, department. You have your code, you have a description, but now we have this new field called department type. And you can set it up to be data collections, estimating, or both if you want to use them for both. So I've chosen, as I said, to, to set up separate ones for estimating. The other feature you have here is you could pick a component type. So if you do have a, a department that is completely just for um, a web or for a Flexo type component, or maybe mm -hmm. you want to set up a department for mailing and you're going to always do that in the mailing component, you can pick the component type. If you want to make it available to all different component types, you'll just choose all. Okay. okay? Fair enough. Now, um, the employees and the processes tab are your typical areas where you'd set up the employees and processes for data collections and job costing, as well as materials and managers. Here's the tab you want to use for estimating only. And then here's where you can add just the particular cost centers you want to include in this department. It's as simple as that. 
So I've set up my up, one for pre-press, one for proofing. Um, I have one for my sheet fed presses, one for my digital presses. And in each one of these, as I said, I just set them up the same way. I gave it a name, said it was for estimating. Uh, here's one where I picked the component type it was for. And then I picked the cost centers that were included in it. Okay. Okay. Seems very straightforward. It's good. Great. Well, do you have any other questions? No, I think that was excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.